The Black Square Duke update from Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024 just dropped. The Piston Duke and Turbine Duke from Just Flight are now compatible with full walk around and a bunch more little goodies included with this wonderful aircraft. I've been waiting for this one for quite a while, almost as long as I was waiting for the 850, so stick around. If you are interested in any of my tutorial guides for Microsoft Flight Simulator or simply interested in supporting the channel, consider joining me on Patreon. Patreon subscribers level tier 2 and above have access to all of my guides as well as any future guides that come down the road. Patreon link can be found in the description below. Alright folks, so as stated, the Black Square Duke update from Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024 dropped and we're going to be talking about what the change log shows. But before we get into it, one of the questions that comes up uh, pretty often when you're uh, looking at third party developers in Microsoft Flight Simulator is when will I get it if I'm on the marketplace or sim market? Folks, the way that this works, at least from the marketplace standpoint with third-party developers this is why I always purchase outside of the marketplace I avoid the marketplace at all costs yes it makes it easier to manage your add-ons but here's the catch to it the catch to it is that all patches updates new aircraft sceneries etc have to be vetted by a Sobo essentially or Microsoft essentially they have to be approved and so even though this update is ready and it's live and we're able to use it, the marketplace, unfortunately, can sometimes take weeks even longer before it actually goes live in the marketplace. So it's not that the update is not coming. If you don't have it today, it's just that unfortunately you have to wait quite a bit longer sometimes. I don't know what that time frame actually logs into as far as a solid number. I don't know that there necessarily is one. I imagine it has to do with backlog. So I do want to give you guys the heads up on that. Same thing with other parts sites I know that sim market is another one uh, it really just depends on when they get around to updating their site and posting that live or when the developer pushes it out I know that black square is directly uh, partnered with just flight if memory serves so I imagine just flight probably gets first dibs on that too uh, before anybody else does but again that's pure speculation right there I have no idea if that's accurate or not that's just an uh, educated guess if you will uh, but as far as uh, the update, let's go ahead and take a look. I'm pretty excited about this. So what do we have? Let's start just a walk around. I like to just walk around the aircraft and look for things, guys. So there's our door opening up. Just looking for different click spots and seeing what we have. I don't know what that was. Got wheel chocks. I should just go ahead and pull those. Doesn't look like any surface control. I saw we saw that similar with the uh, TBM 850, so that kind of fits. Oh, hey, it's the heaters. What that is? Can I click that back in? Guess I'd have to go around to do that, huh? Rotate the prop. Or shake it loose, I guess. <laughs> I don't think you can actually rotate on these kind of engines. I don't know. Look at that. That's exactly what that is. Engine. Oh! You just click right there. There's your engine heater. What else have we got here? Nice sounds for the uh, forward cargo compartment. Rotate left engine. We have a bunch of click spots for the uh, heater. Keep coming around here. Don't see. Oh, there's another one. That should be one right here, right? Oh, tags. Your reds. I hope, I hope there's more coming for the walk-arounds. That'd be kind of nice. Be able to see uh, the control service move. Whoa, kick the propeller from all the way over here. Let's uh, go ahead and get rid of that now. And then it would be nice to be able to enter the aircraft from here. I had the same problem with the TBM 850. I wasn't able to get into it from here. But let's go ahead and jump in the seat. And let's see if we missed anything. We've got to find the tablet. All right, from the tablet. All right, 
so control autopilot switches da -da -da -da, and with hardware events ooh cool cabin all this looks pretty much the same so we have the nose baggage door we got that the cabin door we got that wheel chocks pedo covers we saw that engine covers oh I missed the engine covers external power and the engine heater I didn't see the external power and I didn't see the oh guess I can't use that that's interesting engine covers I didn't see the engine covers let's go find those where where was the click spot for those Did I miss those oh yeah just right in there ah okay all right, so let's take a look at the change log for a second, see what exactly changed quite a bit. So first off, obviously added the pre-flight walk around interactivity from Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024. So we have collision model click spots for engine covers, pedo covers, chocks, door handles, and baggage doors, etc. Headphone simulation has been added to the audio package, which can be triggered by clicking on the pilot's headphone connector on the side panel. We'll check that out here in just a minute. Headphone cables appear when the headphone simulation is active. The amount of headphone attenuation can be adjusted by scrolling the mouse wheel over the headphone click spot. I'll be damned. The new magnetic compass effects, including physics, filtering erratic behavior from onboard magnetic fields. They add a new oil pump failure and engine seizing physics. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> that means I actually have to pay attention to what I'm doing. The GTN 650 and 750 bezels. Now you do have to have the 750 I know installed for the um, either PMS or GTN XI. Uh, speaking of which, added sport for the TDS GTN XI. <laughs> Um, and it, uh, the TT, GTN X5 Advanced Crossfield. Gosh, I can't talk to this morning. <clears throat> they extend the tablet show hide click spots uh, forward along the cockpit wall to make it easily more accessible. Um, interior lighting completely retooled from Microsoft 24. Added persistence to tablet payload switched between sessions. Implemented custom brake simulations and sounds to prevent jittery or looping simulations when hardware brakes are used in conjunction with the parking brake. Oh gosh, I I know exactly what he's talking about. I'm so grateful for that. The Cessna 172 does it all the time. Something going air, 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 air when the parking brake is set. Um, upgrade the KNS 81 RNAV and the KR 87 ADF and the KLN 908 push button interactions to conform with latest Black Square standards. Added headphone jack highlight to better alert users the headphone isolation features. And improve fan speed visualization in the cabin visualizer and increase cooldown time for constitution or shoot constitution combustion air heater visualization. And work around to fix Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024 light flare bleed through. They did the same thing with the TBM 850. Added a tablet option to enable exterior registration meshes in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024. This is hard coded bug in 24. Uh, that interferes with the ultra custom dynamic registration system in the Black Square aircraft. Sim Update 3 failed to resolve this issue, but a potential fix may be in the works for SU4. Given the fact that we're on SU4 beta, let's cross our fingers. And then there was quite a few bug fixes in this one, but if you guys are interested, I'll have a change log posted. And if you already own the aircraft, you should have gotten an email that will take you to it as well. So this, like I said, is another one of my absolute favorite aircrafts. If you guys don't have this one, I highly recommend it. I mean, to be completely realistic here, I recommend any of the Black Square aircraft. They are all absolutely wonderful aircraft. It genuinely in my opinion it does not matter which one you get they are just fantastic aircraft uh they fly well they perform well they're ultra realistic uh they just they do amazing things so let's see here where was that headphone jack i said it was on the side panel that's not a headphone jack do i don't see head uh there oh i'll be damn and then they said by scrolling on it uh, i'm that's moving the camera. Huh. I can't. My mouse comes over it, but when I use it, it just rolls the zoom out. So 
Must be an issue with my control bindings. Go figure for Microsoft Flight Simulator 24 because I have not taken the time to really dive through it. I hate the interface. I really do. I almost think it was worse than 2020 and I used to complain about 2020 all the time. But luckily yours truly might be working on something to solve all those problems. But we will just have to see, won't we? Uh, okay, so let's see here. Um, again, cockpit texturing definitely looks significantly better than it does in 2020. Uh, you can definitely see that higher detail that 2024 does offer. And with that being said, I want to make that clear because I know that sounded crappy. I love this thing in 2020. A gorgeous aircraft in that one too. But you can see the depth. You can definitely see the visualization changes that happens between 2020 and 2024. Certainly something worth holding on to. Well, it just wouldn't be fun if we didn't at least start this thing up a little bit here. So let's see if I can remember how we did this here. So I'm going to want my nav lights on. We're going to want my beacon lights on. Turn my battery on. Uh, avionics we're not ready for. Main inverter I think we do want on, if memory serves. Fuel pumps we're going to turn right. We want to make sure those cow flaps are fully open. Unfortunately, usually there's really no way to check what the cow flap position is without sticking your head out the window, but we're just going to hold it down for about five seconds is what I've always found to be the golden tick. Remove the throttle guard. Huh. Why did that parking brake stuck? Oh, I know why. So you're supposed to, and I don't have my... Pedal's bound, but I think you have to hold the pedals in and then do it, but that's all right. If it starts rolling, we'll blame somebody else. All right. Uh, let's see here. Oh, what is going on here? There we go. Okay. That's better. And still can't do that, but all right. And those are set, and those are set. All right. So, let's see here. Next, we want to check our pre-oiler. Watching that oil pressure. There it goes, there's a little tick. Bring that back over. Fuel pumps are on. Fuel flow peak. Back to idle. Bring it back to the half inch mark and let's see if we can get a start on the first try. Almost never happens for me, so I'm really not surprised by that. What the heck? Oh, the engine covers are on. That's going to be a problem. Oops. I thought we took those off. There's one. And we're rolling. <laughs> I don't know why I can't engage my parking brakes. There we go. We'll take that. All right. And do one more. I think we have a window here, too. This is into the window. Oop. Didn't mean to hit that. All right. So once again, watch that oiler. I think that's the best we're going to get. Pre-oiler down. Fuel boost pump on. Left engine's matching. Let's peak the flow. Okay, bring it back right about there so we know we're where we belong. Come on, baby. Come on, give it to me. Not yet, huh? All right, let's try a little bit higher. Come on, girl. Bring that back up a little bit. Let's try it one more time. Come on. There it is. All right. And there she is.
Wow, that makes a big difference, doesn't it? Let's see if we can try to make that work again. Yeah, don't seem to be really doing anything for me. But I like that a lot. Love this airplane. Absolutely love it. What happens if we get out of it? Ah, uh, aircraft must be stopped. <laughs> no jumping out of a moving car. Alright folks, so once again, <clears throat> this is the Black Square Duke. There's the Piston series as well as the Turbine series. I highly recommend either one of them, although truth be told, I enjoy the Duke more, or, or the Piston version more, but hey, you guys tell me which one you guys love the most down below, and as always, stay safe and healthy. I'll see you in the next one.